Howdy. <laughs> so, uh, updates to uh, welcome to um, Life of the Artist. I just set up this this YouTube uh, channel specifically for uh, what is to come. And uh, quick update for anybody that doesn't know. Um, I got a, a uh, I found out on the 19th of September that I've been living with cancer for over a year now and um, ba -dum -bum. and so much to say about that um, but I'll go straight to the updates so my goal my initial goal has been to alkalize my system as, po as soon as possible and on uh, day before yesterday I was able to get a hold of uh, some pH strips to um, confirm my alkalinity or pH level and um, I immediately starting uh, the, I think it was the day the day that uh, I got the diagnosis I started doing um, two teaspoons of baking soda every you know eight ounces of water uh, every two to three hours and um, I'm happy to report that as of two days ago, um, I'm officially alkaline. And I did an experiment yesterday um, and it brought my alkalinity, I mean my pH level down to about um, back into acidic. So I woke up this morning acidic and then um, I did two uh, treatments, um, you know, an hour and a half, two hours apart. And I was, uh, I'm back to um, alkaline. So the reason why the alkalinity, in case you didn't know, um, there's a, 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 Brit a German scientist won the Nobel Prize in 1931-32 for discovering that cancer cells can't live in an alkaline environment. Um, uh, for those who don't know, you see this little lump here? Little lump. Um, this has been going on for a year um, and there's a, a tumor in the back of my mouth that's been there probably, it's been growing um, noticeably for about the past six months and to the point where it's probably taken over about a third of my my um, passage and uh, so I, I, I posted something on a video about a half hour long video kind of rambling along about you know what what this whole thing is about um, the other day and uh, but you can't get that video I can't get that video off of YouTube to send to people specifically and there's a lot of people and I I just um, this is kind of the easiest way most expeditious way to kind of get to get the word out yikes okay so you see this right <laughs> When it rains, it pours, right? So a couple of days, about three days before I got the diagnosis, I had a bike accident where I uh, was almost killed. And, um, but luckily I went flying over the handlebars and I did a face plant and uh, got the biggest shiner of my life. And this was, at one point, this was all, all shiner. And you can see the new skin right here. And 
you can't tell, but there's a lump right there, and I think that's that's like a little hairline fracture. And I've got another one of those on my on my right knee. Um, I can run, I can ride my bike, but if I bend the knee, it it friggin it hurts like like arthritis or something. You know, it's it's just gonna take a little while. But I can walk, I can stand. If I didn't tell you about it, you wouldn't know about it. So. Um, the other bumps and scrapes and stuff are all healing pretty well. Um, I'm really impressed with all this new skin because that was just that was just scrape. It was all just scraped a couple layers of skin right off, and within a week it's already healed up. Um, and we've got the we've got the aloe. We're treating with aloe, so life is good. Um, so the the doctor said that uh, with radiation and chemotherapy, the prognosis is that this uh, this is the most common form of of uh, throat and neck cancer. It uh, it melts away. Was that was his term? Um, and but we don't we're not there yet. Um, they still we still need to do a PET scan and uh, which is a total body scan to see you know if the uh, cancer is spread um, and like I said the other day you know I uh, I don't I don't know I don't know what stage this is or whatever and I, I don't really care because it's it's all it's all you know, part of my dance, you know, I'm, I'm, it's the same challenge, no matter what number you attach to it. Um, and I've known for quite a while that this might be a possibility. And um, I felt for quite a while that I'm on a shamanic journey. And the thing about shamanic journeys, I, I did an intentional shamanic journey at, at Christmas and New Year's. I just took the whole day and, and went on a walkabout. And, um, um, you know, called in guidance and whatnot. Um, but one of the things I learned, I realized when I went on that shamanic journey is once you start a shamanic journey, it doesn't end, you know. But it turns out that I was already on it when, when I you know, intentionally did that on Christmas and New Year's. And as I said the other day, I, I really feel like I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn within. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, coincidences and uh, synchronicities around what's transpiring. Uh, as you would expect, like the fact, <laughs> the fact that I'm, I've uh, been working on this book for seven years, and I didn't realize it was seven years. That is, um, the working title of it is the Natural History of Life and Death, <laughs> and and like I said the other day, you know, this is this is. Uh, um, Kind of like the practicum of that of facing you know consciously facing death and um through life and uh there's something about being in that position you know being in the cockpit as i as i say um that you know just really sets it brings its own level of clarity and uh, compassion for self and for everyone. And um, appreciation for just being and the sensitivity to energy. Um, is magnificent uh, most of the time 
sometimes that sensitivity is it's really helpful because I you know I can't I can't be around stuff that just doesn't doesn't resonate um, I, have a, I have a very short you know in a way life is short kind of thing <laughs> about it it feels very it feels wonderful to be at this place where I don't have to um, there's not a lot of slack right um, every moment counts as it always has it's just that you know when it's um, uh, brought into focus the parameters of, of our existence through an awareness of um, life and death and its proximity. Um, not that I, I don't feel like I'm dying, and um, I definitely feel, I'm not afraid of it, as I said the other day. I'm not afraid of dying. Um, you know, I, I see, I know from the work that I've done that, that life, that the physical plane of existence is just that there's this is not the main show <laughs> this is a fraction this is like a grain of sand on a beach that's infinite and that's the physical plane is that grain of sand and uh, that we all come from beyond all of this um, and we choose we've chosen in choosing to be.